Hey folks, this won't take too much of your time. Before we start today's video, I want to thank you for 500 subscribers on Simon Says. What a milestone. As promised, I chose a random winner for these trolley stickers from a comment on my previous video. And for today's video, I'm giving away a Lights of Sanghelios. All you have to do to enter is like the current video and comment down below with some constructive criticism or some feedback on the actual upload. And I'll choose one of you to win this Lights of Sanghelios. Thank you very much for the support as always. I think I might be giving away a Falcon Sweep in the next uh, couple pull of weeks. <laughs> Ooh. Enjoy today's video, Domain signing off. Halo blind bags. Oh man, don't they just hit that pure nostalgia. Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is part four of my rare blind bags openings. I did part one and two like a year or two ago, but part three came out very recently and I'll leave that in the description down below. I love blind bags and I have a personal collection of probably over 150 blind bags, but this is just a small amount that I brought to America or I bought from particular people people across the last uh, six months or so. And I thought, why not just get some more open on camera, hit that nostalgia, because what I really love about this video series is reading the comments and people talking about personal experiences they've had opening blind bags, sometimes even with loved ones. It's a precious part of their childhood for a lot of people. So I love celebrating that, you know, on the domain, we are a Halo Mega Bloks channel and we love to celebrate the history and, you know, the last 13 years of Halo Mega Bloks because it's been a wonderful journey for me as a collector, for you guys and for us as a community together. So today we're going to open five beautiful blind bags. In the previous episode, we tore open five other blind bags. We got the Flame Marine, which obviously we knew we were going to get because it's from the 2016 SDCC Flame Marine. You know, it is an exclusive pack. You know what you're going to get inside. So there were no surprises there, but it is a gorgeous figure. The other bags Unfortunately, we got a Bravo series grunt. That's the last thing I wanted to see in a Bravo series pack. That was my unlucky pull for the day, <laughs> but you, you can never get them all. What we did get was a purple Scout Spartan from Echo series. We got the 10th anniversary grunt from the 10th anniversary blind bags, gold plasma pistol and all. And the last one, a brute from the Halo 2 Halo Universe Series 1 blind bags. This is one of my favorite figures ever made. Sculpting is exceptional. Mega did a really great job as well as this grunt. They did a fantastic job on this too. They did a fantastic job on all of these. I, I actually, I was pleasantly surprised by this scout. I didn't think I wanted to get this scout. I certainly didn't want to get the Oceanic because that is a boring figure. But this scout surprised me. It's nice and clean. It's a dark purple. I respect it. So today we're going to get five more open and I think we'll start with with one that's been staring me in the face, this Warrior Series bag. And hopefully we don't get any more grunts today. Wish me luck. All right, folks, let's do this. Warrior Series, really, really great one. I don't know the exact order that Challenger, Warrior, Maverick, and Stormbound came out. They were all kind of just a blur around the same time. So obviously the king of them all is the Gummy Atriox. I have a couple of them in my collection. They're just so dope. I would never even sell them. I, I could have 10 and not sell them like they're so great. The Promethean Warrior, also amazing. You know, again, it's one of those series where just give me anything but the grunt. It's just the thing about those grunts, they're so lame compared to anything else you can get in the series. The Elite's great, that Spartan and Marine, great. Even that Recruit, ah, they're all just awesome. So uh, let's let's see what we get. Anything but the grunt, anything but the grunt, anything but the grunt. Oh, oh, oh yeah, buddy. Yes, the Promethean Soldier, let's go. That is pretty amazing. I actually, I pulled I, arguably the best figure in the series. Like the Gummy Atriox is awesome, of course, but like this Promethean is so amazing. And we didn't get many Promethean Soldiers over the course of Halo 5 Guardians, like Mega Constructs releases. That's so dope. I've never pulled one from a Warrior Series blind bag and they have that Gummy Bolt shot, what? Of course that gummy bolt shot would match and this gummy translucent material that runs through this would match the Atriox, which is a great touch. Doesn't that just look like a guardian to you? Doesn't that just, that that, that looks exactly like a guardian, if, if you ask me. Ah, that's awesome. I really didn't expect to get that. A really good way to start a blind bag pull. Really great one to start off on. Cause you know, we, we didn't have the best look on part three. We got two grunts and like two grunts is not what you want from a blind bag pull. Yes, yes, yes. Our look has transformed guys. 
we've got the best one in the series. What a legendary figure. Uh, yeah, I got that massive haul recently, and the only figure I saved from the series was this, uh, well, not the only one. I saved about five figures from that big haul that I wanted to keep personally. This was one of them, but it didn't come with the bolt shot, so really great to see that one. Yes, 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 yes. Legendary, legendary. Let's see if our luck can continue. I don't know if it will. <laughs> We're gonna pull a grunt. I promise you. We'll pull a grunt by the end of this. I'm trying to say this is going to be a no grunt series, but it never works out like that. We've got Halo Infinite Series 1 blind bags next. A pretty classic series, very, very well distributed. I've opened a lot of these in the past. My main complaint about this series is that there's two ACs. I just think that's unnecessary. You don't need more than one AC in a blind bag series, particularly when there's only eight figures and one of them is a buildable pelican. So really you've only got, without the ACs, five figures. So that's not very good. But let's see, let's see what we get. The Halo Infinite series, like they've all been good. Uh, it's a shame with Halo Infinite series four that we're down to six figures only. That is a big shame and that with one one of them being a sentinel that really is only five figures nice train honking in the background that gungnir is epic uh my favorite figure from this series is this uh purple elite i just think it looks so slick i love the reflective color choice let's see what we get i'm not going to be disappointed with any even the grunt is probably the best grunt we've ever got in a blind bag series so let's see what happens Okay, what? <laughs> okay, now, officially this looks rigged. It looks like I now rigged it, so I made sure that I get the uh, the figure I wanted. That is not the case, I promise. I did not expect to get this, but man, that is the best, uh, the best one I could get. Particularly the fact that I have so, so, so many of these, so I really only want figures that I can army build, and really the only figures that you would want to army build from this are the Marine, the Elite, and the Grunt. The Marine doesn't come with shoulders, so it's not the best one, so really it's just the Elite or the Grunt. Yes. And that's what you want to see. That's what you want to see. That purple, like, honestly, that reflective purple is so badass. I love how the skin tone of his neck is clearly the only exposed skin on his body. The rest is under a jumpsuit. I think that works really well. And just a great design. Uh, I think they need to release a few more brute elite and grunt designs from Halo Infinite because really they've just been rocking, like, kind of the combat evolved look for the last couple of years. But, uh, you know, it also, it works well. The Halo Infinite in-game models are very similar to uh, combat evolved, so I can't really blame them for the it. Elites are usually very difficult to get the torso in because they have these legs that are that are arched backwards. What is nice about this uh, Elite is it comes with a glassed effect energy sword. All of the different energy swords will look different. I've had ones that have large amounts of dark blue running through, some that barely have any light blue at all. They're all quite varied, so I do I do really like that. And that is our two figures. That that's that is really lucky. I'm feeling I'm feeling like this blind bag opening is going to be a, a really lucky one. I guess uh, based on the title, you guys must have wished me luck before. You you watch the video because uh, I'm feeling lucky right now. For the next one, I'm gonna choose my blind bag completely randomly so I can prove that I'm not fixing this whole event. And then let's randomize this, okay. I'm closing my eyes, I'm closing my eyes. Three, two, one, zero. Okay, Challenger series, nice. That goes in line with our warrior as well, so that's dope. Challenger. Yeah, another dope series. I loved all of these series. Challenger, Warrior, Stormbound, and Maverick, particularly because they were color coordinated. The rarest is the AC Helio Skrill, the best in this series. Oh, the Brute and the ODST, awesome. The Marine is awesome. Even that Zealot is badass. Uh, there aren't really any bad figures. I'd rather not have another grunt, but it is at least a new articulation grunt this time. Three, two, one, zero. Okay, okay, all right. The white Spartan. I don't believe I've ever got this Spartan before, so I'm happy to open it. Yeah, why not? That's a nice, that's a nice, I love the speckled effect on this as well. The speckling has been something that Mega's done for pretty much like 13 years, but I do respect that it looks really good on uh, white figures. Nice, and they are different shoulders as well, which is a good touch. The upstairs neighbors have woken up. I don't know what's happening recently, but they've got like children in the house and they've never made noise at all in the, in, at any moment that I've been here. They just got some kids here and they're just making all the noise yeah look at that that's nice that's nice and the green visor of course ties it in with the green color scheme you gotta love that and i would have liked that odst though that goes for a pretty penny now that odst it's a really rare one very nice very nice i respect this figure a lot that is three really good pulls <laughs> like that is three really good pulls we got two more for today so let's see if we can just keep this look going <laughs> I picked up this and I was like, that is a grunt. I'm not going to open that. 
<laughs> All right, why don't we go for a Delta next? Delta, again, pretty legendary series. Kind of color coordinated in some ways. That hot pink is always a, a standout for me. The Halo Wars Marine is beloved by the fans because you, you know, people love army building Halo Wars Marines. There's no argument that the best figure is this Flood. I love that Flood and it only came in a couple of sets, which is such a shame. The Grunt, I don't want that Grunt, particularly because it's old articulation. I love the the dark, like such, such a dim, moody, muddy kind of series. The Spec Ops kind of elite is nice as well. Three. Two, one, zero. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay. I swear I got this figure in a different blind bag opening as well. I'd have to double check that information. It's just a plain old figure. Yeah, it's just, I. It, you got to the point with Halo Mega Constructs. After they introduced a new articulation, going into Halo 5 Guardians, there were so many just like yellow and green and orange figures that uh, I just, I lost all interest. I guess like the fire teams have always been really good. Like I. I enjoyed the fire teams. I just did a review on Fire Team Eagle recently. They were good for the time, but like eventually you're like, damn, another just like yellow fire team, huh? <laughs> just a repurposed, repackaged fire team. So it did get a bit boring. Hello, is that? Oh, uh oh. Is that two right legs? Our look has officially come to an end, boys. <laughs> We got some dope figures, but now the, the the look gods have said steady on now. You're getting a little too cocky We're gonna take you down a peg. Uh, well Well, not much we can do there guys. That's a dud figure. Oh, no. Oh Oh, no <laughs> What a shame, what a shame. When I do my big uh, Halo Mega Construct sale, I guess I'll just throw this in and just say to someone, hey, he's got a dodgy leg, but um, you can have him. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, that's not good. Truly, our luck has run out. <laughs> we got three really dope figures and the fourth one was a dud, but that leaves an opportunity for redemption. It's gotta be a good one. What series, mm, I could open a series three Halo Infinite. There's so many nice figures in here. Grunt is a victor, so really there is there's no loss in this series. Usually I'd say anything but the grunt, but Victor is our king. This figure, very plain, very uh, unimaginative in my opinion, but I, I get that Mega wants like a standardized green Master Chief-esque figure. I love that neon sort of blue for the Elite Ultra. The AC Brute Chieftain. Um, I've heard a lot of reports that like boxes didn't even come with the Brute Chieftain. Like, I've heard that it's very, very hard to find. I also like the, uh, the background for this. I got a little sick of just the hills and mountains, but I do appreciate it for a blind bag production image. It does make it seem a little more realistic. I miss the good old days, man. Like they're, they're always just stood to attention. I miss the good old days where they're fighting in an actual map from Halo. Yeah, they, those were the good old days. The female Marine, again, no shoulders, so not the best. Kind of miss me with these, but I imagine it's probably gonna be one of those Spartans and I'll be okay with it. Three, two, one, zero. <gasps> Victor the Grunt. Oh, my baby Victor, you came to save the day. You came to save the day. You said, oh no, Simon, I see that you just got a dud of a figure. Let me redeem this video. Let me bring it back into the light. Ah, oh, we needed our Victor, we needed our savior. He came when we needed him the most. Ah, oh, sweet baby Victor. You, <laughs> yes, it's been a while since we've had a, a Victor meme. Can I please get, in all caps, Victor in the comments down below. Sweet baby Victor, you came to save the day. And Victor the Grunt was uh, such a historic, and I'm talking like the first time the domain revealed a character that was in Halo. Like this had never been seen like even by uh, Halo content creators or, or anyone. So it was really such an honor to be able to reveal a figure that ended up having a big impact uh, and a presence in Halo Infinite and in the sandbox. And we also got to name him. Unfortunately, the name did not stick. No content creators actually called him Victor which is a travesty. They all just called him the Grunt Mule, which, <laughs> what would you rather call him? Obviously Victor. And yeah, he's so generous as well, coming with two shock rifles and his plasma pistol. That's such a good figure. Guys, Victor the Grunt, long live Victor the Grunt. He did it, he saved the blind bag haul. Victor, Promethean soldier, an elite a Spartan, and uh, a, a, a defect. <laughs> this was a pretty good haul. Uh, rate my pulls out of 10 in the chat below, and let me know which of these blind bag series holds a special place in your heart and why. Thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there. Check out part one, two, and three for more blind bag pulls, and stick it with the domain for all your Halo Mega Constructs content. The elite. Actually, what am I saying the elite? Get out of here. Victor the Grunt in all his divine, beautiful glory. Victor do be vibing. He's signing off. Ba, 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 ba.